Hi everyone and welcome to this video playlist all about your site. Each week I'll be revealing three more pairs of your spread, so that's seven weeks of content. Join me each week for the next part. Hello Scorpio, how are you? I'm about to shuffle for your reading. Hi Scorpio, thank you for joining me today. So what do we have? The beginning of your reading, your first three pairs. This is all about the current circumstances. So this is now, this is what is crossing you, which is also present. And this is the foundation of your reading, sometimes the root of problems or subconscious fears. I feel there's been a little bit of disruption going on, something that has been draining you. And if we look, we've got a thing going on here of swords, the six, the knight and the nine of swords. So this is all to do with your thinking and none of this is actually a reality because the suit that this is, is the mental self. Your thoughts. In the first position where we have the moon, this is about exploring your inner self and making sure that you are connected with all things that surface in your emotions and in your dreams and in your meditative state. It's about acknowledging that and seeing that some of the fears that come up and are highlighted when we are around the moon can actually make things seem a little bit more magnified. But you're moving away from that. So if you have been feeling, shall we say, in an emotional state of anxiety or things feeling highlighted or magnified, when it comes to fears and um, being afraid of things, you certainly are going to be able to move it forwards because if we look here, the Six of Swords is very much about being able to move forwards into great adventures and that curiosity and that drive and desire to grow. You are progressing and in tarot, six is always progress, okay? Even though we've got the swords here, you're progressing from those thoughts. The highlight of your fears is actually just being magnified for you to actually look at what you need to do. Now, the obstacles are showing here and this is the influences of other people and the influences of others also comes up here. So when I reveal these cards to you, you'll be able to see exactly what the influences of others have had an impact upon you that's caused this. So your status and reputation, you've got this feeling that's going on in the cards that sort of suggests here that you are aware of what your current circumstances and your status and reputation is like with other people and you're not feeling very settled about that. Now that's kind of coming in and out here as in and the swords is very much about how you are thinking about this but it's also to do with what others make you feel um, and this is the emotions. So thoughts and feelings are coming together here um, influenced by other people based upon the fact that you've not been settled because we've got the tower here okay and that's disturbed your mindset causing you to actually highlight sort of some of the negative or some of the anxieties. Perhaps your overthinking is what the cards are actually saying to you. And if you look at what the first cards are saying, sometimes it's good to actually be aware of what are our darkest sort of side that we think can come up and surface. And forewarned is forearmed. Also, Six of Swords talks about other people helping you get over that. So I feel that's coming from within, but this card also suggests coming from the outside influences. Not this, because I feel that this is actually your obstacle. This is the new. This is the new way forwards. Um, the moon is very much about highlighting um, what we feel is scary or negative or going to cause us something where we need to be on full alert. And I feel that that's responsible for causing you to feel so unsettled 
and the nine of swords is too much thinking okay you need to let go of that you know sleepless nights and things like that pay attention to your dreams don't actually look at what they are actually saying in um, its simple structure look at the symbology okay and the symbology of them will be showing you the way forwards you know if it's highlighting them something like this that you can see that somebody a stranger comes in don't look at the stranger as the person that's scary look at the stranger in the fact that this is someone that can help you okay the obstacles are those of the intentions of other people you're not feeling confident about who you are and you need to be in a place where you connect with who you are and other people's influences they're entitled to their opinion but you need to ground yourself okay and you need to rebuild all right now the tower is also saying that you're going to do that really quickly so that's really good and you know allow yourself to actually deal with the fact that at night you allow those thoughts to roll and then maybe keep a diary uh, a dream diary and write down the symbology go and look up the key factors that you think were weird or strange something that comes in you saw you know some object or um, something was happening over and over and over again or you were running um, it's it's giving you clues as to going intensely into yourself and searching for the conclusion of how you can move forwards and how you can grow okay so um it's not surprising that you have such colorful cards scorpio because you are indeed an ever-changing being who is always intensely attached to the emotions and the thoughts will have an impact on how you feel so what you've been asked to do is to look at yourself to be confident to connect with what it is that you believe in about yourself and just say oh my goodness me we're not all the same different horses for different courses so thank you for joining me i do hope you enjoyed this please come back and we'll see what the rest of the cards are revealing all about you until then bye bye